what is up everyone hello world how is everyone doing today i hope everyone is fantastical i feel good i hope you do too it would be nice if we got some um <laughs> muted my uh hope uh getting some consistent spring weather coming we've had about two or three days of mid 70s which is my favorite but uh yeah so we got our live, we're trying the live haul video again, and I hope it goes well. So we got John first, John the Cincinnati Picker, hello. If, uh, yeah, John and a bunch of the other guys, uh, Lonnie and uh, Steve from Steve and Steph and a bunch of other people, about 70 other people are doing a bracket challenge that they have put together through their Facebook group. So if you guys want to participate in that, go uh, hit that up. So uh, that should be fun. You know, I've already submitted the winning bracket. So, you know, but the rest of you can try. <laughs> Just kidding. I've only won one out of the 20 plus years I've been doing these bracket fill outs. I've won a bracket contest once. <laughs> but anyway, so hello, John L24 uh, Picker, Maria in Houston, Texas. Destiny, the Shamrock Pixie, welcome. Anissa, welcome, Gate City Picker, Monty in Texas, hello, Karen, good morning, Tommy Bernard, what's up, brother, in Delaware, Liz for a day, for real, girl, hello, <laughs> Gina, Good welcome, welcome, did you guys miss me, <laughs> hey, Michelle, how's it going this morning, so, uh, yeah, we did our, uh, you know, our usual Sunday, uh, thrifting we only went to two thrift stores and we hit uh gabe's again gabe's was it's it's been good to us so uh yeah we'll see that here in a second we're gonna let the numbers get up before we jump have all the stuff down here around my feet oh well, most of the stuff <laughs> i have one item that we bought multiple quantity of i've and uh, tommy bernard knows this because I've, I've chatted with him on facebook but we bought a multiple quantity of an item and we're going to see how it goes. I made a special video of it and we will release that video once the items start selling. You know, it's kind of like Scott, the bearded picker. He goes out and get this Amazon stuff and he does videos about it. But after he sold most of it, so which makes sense. So the market doesn't get flooded. But uh, yeah. But anyway. Fran, good morning. Yep. Oh, did you see the doggy? Yeah. They're back there lounging in the sun. I got the, the shades open and uh, they got a blanket over there and they just lounge in the sun. They love it. The old girls. What year is it? It's uh, 2019. They'll be 11 this August. August 28th, they'll be 11 years old. The sisters. So, yeah. So, on uh, Saturday, the past couple of Saturday nights, I've been watching Dwayne with uh, Mothership Products, his auction on Saturday nights. And I love it. You know, I uh, I haven't bought anything. I haven't sold anything on there, but it takes me back to when I was in college. I don't know if I've ever told this story before, but when I was in college, I worked part time at a at an auction. You know, because that's who I am. You know, that's <laughs> I was like, oh great, this auction's hiring part time. That's right up my alley. And I was a uh, basically I took bids. It was a tele. It was on public access television in a small town in Oklahoma, and this guy bought pallets. You know, like a bunch of people do, and uh, he had a a repair guy that repaired the stuff off the pallets, like, you know, lawn mowers and whatever else, you know, that needed, that could be repaired. And uh, I worked there as just a bid taker on the phone. You know, I was sitting in front of the computer on, you know, had a headset and just took and did a, was a bid taker part-time when I was in college. And, um, yeah, I really enjoy that. Now I've all, of course, always enjoyed going to auctions, but, uh, watching Dwayne's auction the past, couple of weekends got my wheels turning and i really enjoy it and uh obviously i never ever ever want to copy anyone but uh may may maybe doing something with that if you guys think it's cool uh some some aspect like that of uh selling stuff so uh but it's still in the works it's like weeks or months away if i do do something so i wanted to give Dwayne mad props before i even you know <laughs> roll anything out because like i said you don't want to be a copycat but i just think there's room in the market you know maybe doing uh boxes of stuff and uh yeah 
because I have all kinds of small stuff that I would be more than happy to lot up and sell, you know, so because I got too much stuff. But anyway, so yeah, give me, hey, Mo, uh, Rocky Brook, Mo, it's a Mo Flips. Uh, now give me your thoughts and opinions about that. If you think there's room, if you'd be interested in buying stuff or maybe even selling stuff, there's room for that as well. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Mo. That's what I say, too. You can't really, and I've preached this before, but it's hard to get out of that mindset. You can't really worry about anyone else, but you do. It trickles in, you know, like, yeah, I'm not going to get into it, but uh, yeah, there's some... There's always some behind the scenes drama that you guys aren't aware of, but uh, I don't let that, I try to keep that out of my headspace, you know? But anyway, so that's cool. Gate City Picker. Do I have your name, Gate City Picker? Do you mind being called Gate City Picker? <laughs> I got my list still here. <laughs> some people don't care. My list of names here. Oh, I don't have you on my list. So if you want me to call you by your name. <laughs> just let me know and i'll put you on my list paul all right i got you on my list paul the gate city picker i had to start another page okay gate city picker paul you know and Dwayne obviously has saturday nights wrapped up and i would never want to compete with that so you know friday nights maybe or may, even during the day i don't know i mean heck i don't know like I said, we're still in the filling out stages. If we do it, we want to do it right. So, yeah. Hey, Cody, how's it going this morning, bud? Thank you for joining us. Uh, flipping Arkansas, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in. How's the uh, rail yard this morning? Kent, welcome, bud. How you doing? Good to see you all. Dan, Dan, the New Hampshire guy, welcome. Um, Got to admit, I kind of miss this. You know, it's only been, what, two weeks, a week or two. But uh, I kind of missed it. I think I let a lot of, like I, I talked about a little bit right there, and I'm not going to go into detail. I, I, let, I let a lot of the uh, behind-the-scenes stuff kind of drag me down. But um, you can't let it, you know. It took me a week to just go, like, you know, whatever, you know. And, uh, yeah. Cody says, uh yeah, over in Indiana, grinding away. Hi, I feel you. I, I listed uh, 28 items yesterday. And those 20, let me do the math here. Those 28 items, because they were, it's, it's my Gabe's haul. Those uh, 28 items I listed were for, uh, oh, I don't have to do the math because I know it, there, each one was the same. 28 items for 2,800 bucks yesterday so listed didn't sell that but that's what i listed so yeah a hundred dollars a piece um yep so as uh, hopefully those will start selling <laughs> oh thanks ken well I'm, I'm sorry there was withdrawals but uh yeah i appreciate that i i am uh uh missed everybody wants to be you know wanted uh, Michelle says Dwayne is a cool dude. He's supported the community. That's awesome. I've never really, I've never really talked to him. Like I talked to a lot of people offline. Well, a lot of people. I talked to Scott, the bearded picker, a little bit. You know, over Facebook. I talked to Tommy Bernard a lot. I talked to Craig, the land shark picker, quite a bit, um, and a few others. You know, and uh, I've never had a chance to, uh, you know, meet with, you know, know Dwayne. But uh, he seems like a genuine dude. So yeah. Uh, Gate, uh, Paul says he sold on uh, Mothership products. It was fun and a lot of work. Yeah. Mo, Mo says it can take its toll on you. People don't understand the behind the scenes stuff that goes on. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. And I let it get to me. I freely admit that, you know, me, one of, I've, have, <laughs> I'm very hard on myself, but I have very few, you know, great redeeming qualities. But one of them is I'm, you know, or not necessarily redeeming demon qualities, but I'm very tough on myself and I let things get to me, you know, cause I want to be good. I want to be, you know, right. I want to be, yeah. I want to produce quality content. I want to help people, you know? And, uh, uh, a lot of times this stuff is easier on people. That's just like, I don't give enough, you know, whatever they can, you know, if they can just put it out of their mind, it's easier on them, but I'm just not built that way, you know, but it is what it is. 
Okay, we got 26 watching now. So let's, I'm just going to keep on rambling here till we get up to about 35 or 40 or so. And then we'll go into the stuff I got. As like I said, it's not huge, uh, but uh, it's pretty good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Michelle says, some jewelry sellers have started auctions and pop-up shops with Dwayne's help. And that's awesome. Yeah, I was really, I mean, I'm a dude. I'm a dude to the core, you know, I'm a guy to the core. And and my wife is not a jewelry person. She does, you know, costume jewelry, that kind of, she has some real jewelry, of course, you know, our, you know, our wedding sets and, you know, I, she has a necklace and yeah. But uh, she's not a jewelry person and neither am I. So I was really surprised with that, how well that stuff sold. And it's made me start looking for it and, uh, at the thrift stores, you know. So uh, I'm not, I'm definitely not going to be picking through each individual piece. But I'm going to, if I could buy a big lot, a job lot of stuff and sell it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> of course, you know, that goes with my mantra. You're always learning, right? You know, I don't know anything about jewelry, but I'm willing to learn. <laughs> Max, welcome, bud. How you doing today? Max Hustle, good dude. Uh, Maria says, currently working on a shoe bin. I've put aside and forgot. Yves Saint Laurent, coach, et cetera. 21 pairs, awesome. Hope you get big money out of that. And it sells quick, super fast. <laughs> good morning, Craig. How you doing this morning? Mary, good morning. But uh, it'll be a learning process. And uh, of course, everything's a learning process. We're doing YouTube initially when I came out and started doing YouTube. I'm coming up on a year. Uh, I did, started doing YouTube last April sometime. And I'm coming up on, you know, this is episode 88. I'm coming up on 100 episodes, but I have like 150 videos total. But what I consider episodes, my hauls and my sold video. Um, coming up on 100 uh the hundredth episode and I'm going to do something piece together, something special for that. So yeah. And that's going to be a lot of work, <laughs> but it's worth it. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see. Oh, I, Kelly's going to get more coffee. I think I need some more. Uh, I only had one cup so far. Some days I'll make, I'll have two cups. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get, get one of those things where I can, uh, I have this, we have this, we do a French press and we have this, uh, Bodum French press that makes two cups perfectly for my wife and I, and that's what we have every morning. So, but if I make another pot, then there's two cups cause she's at work today. She had to work all week today. Usually she teleworks on Mondays and Tuesdays, but she had to go in all week this week. That means I'm having to get up at five 30 in the morning every day this week. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> that's okay. Um, Mo says I haven't posted a video in like nine months. I got hit with a troll and got really down. Oh, it's, yeah, it, it gets to you, don't it, Mo? And uh, like I said, it takes up your headspace. That's why this past two weeks has been good for me. It cleared my head, you know, like and just reinvigorated and just ready to go again. You know, I still don't know if I'm going to go back to the Monday and Wednesday and Friday thing, but uh, probably not. But uh, I'll start doing more lives again, maybe just not on a regular schedule uh everyone saying hello to each other because you all are cool people oh did he uh paul said john and evermore antique started a little auction on his channel too that's that's cool i'll have to check that out i am subscribed to john but uh it's hard watching everyone you know uh <laughs> and this is on cup number four of tea already <laughs> should have your caffeine Ah, Max has Irish coffee. If it'll slip a little, uh, little whiskey in there or some, uh, uh, butterscotch schnapps. That's what I like. If I'm going to have a little loaded coffee, I like the butterscotch schnapps in mine. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a dessert, isn't it, Anissa? Uh, that's why I use a uh, Truvia in my coffee, which is, you know, zero calorie natural sweetener. I don't like the chemical sweeteners. Uh, matter of fact, I've quit diet sodas altogether and I'm trust me, I miss it, but I quit them altogether because I've, I was getting to a point where in the afternoons, like between two and four, I just felt foggy. Like my head was all just weird and hazy, but I, I stopped uh, drinking the diet sodas and I feel fine. So I think it's probably the chemical sweeteners, but anyway, 
Yeah, I do a Truvia, which is the natural sweetener in my coffee and a sugar-free creamer that I get. At the, I used to get it at Aldi, but they've stopped carrying it for some reason. Now I have to go to a, a local grocery store and get a Coffee Mate sugar-free hazelnut creamer. Thank you, L. Hit the thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> oh, trust me. I love it, Monty. I love sodas, but I just, you know, I can't do them. Cannot do them. Regular sodas, too much sugar, diet sodas, chemical sweeteners. Can't do them. <laughs> Get the old joints lubed up, no doubt. No doubt about that. My wife's back was hurting her this morning. She did tweaked her back. She's had back trouble since she got out of the Marine Corps. So, uh, and she tweaked it and, you know, <laughs> Irish coffee. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think so too, Rocky, or Mo. I think so too. Uh, that, uh, phenylalanine or whatever they call it. I've never been able to pronounce that word, but the phenylalanine, that crap makes your mind. It's like, you know, remember Joe versus the volcano. I got a brain cloud. That's what I felt like from like two to four every afternoon. I had a brain cloud, but I'm not going to go jump in a volcano. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that's one. Yeah. That green label coconissa that it's, it's like half, half the sugar or something yeah i'd be i'd it's dangerous you know i'm just gonna kind of <laughs> i can't yeah kid jack daniels makes me foggy too absolutely i rarely have whiskey when i w have whiskey i usually have it uh, just just on ice on the rocks i have a nice rye whiskey on the rocks a couple times a year you know yeah high fructose corn syrup stay away stay away I was hoping we get up to 40. We're up to 32 watching. So I guess that's about where we're going to be. So hit that thumbs up if you can. I understand if you can't. But let's jump into the stuff. What do you guys want to do first? Do you want to do new tags, clothing, or do you want to do thrift store stuff? Tell me. Vote. The voting booth is open. Because <laughs> I can start either one. I got it all right here. I got a kitty cat right here. But the, our big Hemi. <laughs> yeah, Joe versus the volcano. Uh, let me see here. Oh, let me see. Hemi wants to say hello. This is our big boy, our polydactyl. Say hello. Say hi, Hemi. He's the boy. He's the one that's had the had his wee wee lopped off because he was having urine crystals, and he's polydactyl, he's Russian blue. He's about eighteen and a half pounds. He's a big, big boy. Yeah, that's a Hemi. His full name is Hemingway. <laughs> After Hemingway. Okay, so we got thrift, 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 clothes, thrift, thrift, thrift. <laughs> I've heard. I heard Scott talking about how his doctor said Coke Zero, the the sweetener they use, is better for you than Diet Coke. So yeah, I have to check that out. But uh, yeah. We got uh, Michelle wanted clothes, but sorry, Michelle looks like we're being downvoted. We got thrift, but we're going to get to the clothes, of course. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's big Hemi, big Hemi. Okay, so let's jump in. If if the audio gets bad, let me know. I don't want anyone, you know, freaking out. And Maria says monk fruit sweetener is starting to make headway in the market now. Finally, great flavor. Yeah, I've heard about that, and I I hope it. Uh, you know, anything they could do to get away from this chemical sweetener i'm down with so let me see i'm just gonna pull a bag up here Woo! start in oh this is awesome uh what was the colors violet and yellow were the half off colors at this thrift store so uh let me see here first up we got this pulse smart pin and we paid uh we got about because we usually use a 10% uh, off coupon and we're still using our gift cards, you know, that we got the big discount on. So it usually averages about 25% off, 25, 30% off. So that's what we got this for about 15 bucks, this Pulse Smart Pin. And this is brand new. I opened it up still, you know, the tape was broken, but I opened it up and make sure everything was brand new. You know, it never been used. These sell for about a hundred bucks. It's two gigabyte Pulse Smart Pin. So uh, yeah, 15 into a hundred. Yeah, buddy. 
I mean, this old tech, it's, it can be long tail, of course, and just like almost everything we do, right? But uh, yeah, got another package of this uh, inkjet transparency film, brand new 3M. And this is violet, so this was half off. This is three bucks. This is a conference pack that contains 10 flip frames along with the uh, film themselves. This is model number RS7110 slash 10. Baha. Mouthful. And this has 50 of the 8.5 by 11 transparency films. I, mean, I didn't comp this because I comped these just a few weeks ago, but I'm sure this is 30, 40 bucks or so for three bucks. Brand new. So, yeah. Long tail. Uh huh. I'm just going to stop saying that, you know, and say it will sell. It may take a while. It will sell. I think we got a couple mugs here. Woo mug life. Mug life. Let's see what you guys think so far. <laughs> yeah, does it right for you? No doubt. Kelly is back with coffee and a bagel. Oh, bagel with cream cheese. Mm. I love bagels and cream cheese. I haven't had one in so long, though, because I eat them all the time if I have them. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Welcome. 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 Feel free to participate in the chat, Jennifer. It's full of good people. We always like new names. So if you have any questions, just shoot. We're going through a haul right now. We just started. So welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. What's this mug? Oh, this is a vintage New York Giants. Too bad they suck so bad. They just got rid of Odell Beckham Jr., but this is from the late 70s, early 80s with the gold rim. No spoon stir marks. And we get paid about 75, 80 cents for this after our discount. So see the kitties and the puppies back there sniffing each other. But uh, about $20, $25 on that mug. Probably more if they wouldn't have traded Odell Beckham Jr. to the Browns. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, this was cool. My wife picks this stuff up, so I have no idea about it or what it is. All I do know is this stuff sells. But, you know, usually long tail is a piece of pottery with a cool little, like, lid in it. And it's signed, you know, and paid $2.50 for this. And I think I remember my wife saying this is, you know, a $40 or $50 item. It's a pretty cool pattern. Yeah, it looks like new, but uh, yeah, she's really good at this, you know. She's trained me a little bit on it, but uh, she's still way better at it than I am. All right, she, she, my wife also picked up these two things. She said she remembered these when she was a kid. These were actually uh, sleds, wacky, wacky carpet. They're just like little pieces of plastic, but these are vintage like sleds. And paid a dollar fifty for these. These are half off, and she said these sell for about twenty five dollars a piece since they're new. I was hoping there's a year on them down here somewhere, but I don't see a year. These are made in Canada, though, so that tells you something. Made in Canada. No year on them, but yeah, she said twenty five bucks a piece on those. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Next bag up. All right. This Garmin. This is complete in the box. This is almost in new condition, but I think it was used, but probably not for very long. We paid about seven dollars and fifty cents for this after our discount. Um, I'll probably get this out, turn it on, charge it, and get the latest maps downloaded. Uh, you can do that for free. It's a process. But uh, once that's done, this sells for about 75 bucks or so. This is the Garmin Nuvi 255 LMT. So, uh, yeah, you just got to make sure everything's in there and it's downloaded with the latest firmware and maps and stuff. And be okay. Next up. You know what's weird about DVDs? I found if you can find this BBC stuff, it sells really well. And this is a sealed uh, Lark Rise to Candleford, the complete collection. 14 this set by the from the BBC, sealed. And I uh, got this for like two bucks. There's no price tag on it, but the, they charge per disc, like 50 cents per disc. Or I mean, the 50 cents per case. So, uh, yeah. 
And because uh, if I have us per disc, there's 14 discs in there, and that wouldn't be cool. But this sells for about 25, 30 bucks or so. I always breeze through the DVD. You know, I, obviously you see my, <laughs> you've seen my hauls. You see how many DVDs and stuff, and I get. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, it's a heavy bag. Small mugs, maybe. It's weird how hit and miss mugs are. Oh, this is cool. This is a C-17 Globemaster. The military mugs always do really well for me. It has the C-17 there and the, with the trucks and the tank and, a, and the paratroopers. Uh, nothing on bottom. And this was about 75 cents after our discount. Clean, no spoon star marks. Military mugs usually bring a premium. This will probably go for about 30 bucks or so, plus shipping. So, yeah, really cool. Okay. Next up. Oh, yeah. Every time I get these, they sell. They may not be immediate, but these are uh, Laurel Bush. This is from 1998. The cat mugs, the tall one with the, the painted cats and everything. Paid up a little bit for this after discount, you know, two low twos. But uh, they usually sell pretty quick, about 30 bucks or so. Clean. So, yeah, pretty nice. Oh, another military mug. This one's really cool, too. This is the, from the USS Abraham Lincoln with all the uh, planes and stuff. Check that out. You know, about 75 cents. It's from 1997. It's dated down there, which is awesome. That's really cool. The gold foil embossed there. Clean. I didn't even comp this, really, you know, but, you know, probably in the 20s, maybe even 30s, you know, who... But all I know is that's really cool. Last mug, I think. Yeah, this is an Eeyore. Always look up your Disney because they're not foolproof. You know, it's not like every Disney is going to sell really good, but uh, this one will. This is an Eeyore uh, from the uh, Disney store. This is a Disney store exclusive dollar and change after discount. Yeah. Clean, no spoonster marks. Uh, in the 20s on that one. So, cool. Okay. Let me see here. Dig through this bag because this bag is full of stuff my wife got for herself. <laughs> like I said, I'd much rather buy clothes at the thrift store than at the Macy's or something. Oh, I got these though. I found some swim trunks, new with the tags. These are about five bucks a pair after discount. These are a pair of Reef, brand new with the tags. This was from the thrift store, actually, not retail arbitrage. But yeah, brand new with the tags. And these sell for about 25 bucks a pair. This is a good size, too. These are a... Where's it at? These are a 40. Yeah, so that's a good big size. It's my former size. I'm not that size anymore. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good, you know, coming up on the season, too. So that's a really good, good buy there. 25 bucks or so, plus shipping. Another pair of swim trunks. These are Quicksilvers, brand new with the tags. Uh, yeah, about five bucks on these as well. And these are a 34. These are, yeah, brand new, pretty cool pattern. But maybe a few dollars less than those, but still probably in the 20s. And those. Oh, yeah. My wife found this as well, and this is awesome. This is a brand new with the tags. Le Sport Sack. Look for these if you can find them, even used. But this one's brand new with the tags. This is a little bit vintage. We got this for about five bucks after discount, five and change. And the retail sticker on is $130. And that may be what it brings, even uh, on eBay, because this is a little bit older. These things are not cheap and they sell really well. Wish they had a year on here, but it doesn't. But yeah, really cool find. That was one of my wife's, you know, hundred dollar finds there. So really, really nice. And that's her bag of loot. <laughs> Set this to the side here. Okay, so that's all the thrift store stuff. We were picky, like I said. Uh, gonna go into the Gabe stuff here. First, I'm gonna go back to the chat here and see what's up. What's up? 
Uh, let me see here. Yeah, mug life. Got some mug life. Hashtag mug life. <laughs> let me see here. Scrolling up a little bit. Yeah, this was talking about the Browns. Yeah, yeah. And Kelly said they had the sleds growing up up north. Yeah, my wife grew up on the basically the Missouri Iowa border. So back in the day, they had all kinds of snow. And she says she if they weren't, they had said they had an old uh, car hood that their dad would pull them around on on the you know in a truck. But uh, they had those as well. She said. <laughs> let's see here oh, that's cool mo mo found a brand new garmin car charger for 25 cents i bet you that's a decent item i'll do you max that's good to know i mean i knew to you know <laughs> look it up when i saw it you know i looked it up and it looks decent you know so yeah <laughs> Kelly. Kelly likes the cat mugs. Yeah, Mary with the likes the military mugs. Yeah, I saw that as of yesterday that the uh good till cancel is in effect. Yep, I saw that. But we all knew it was coming. You know. We'll see how it works out though. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt, Max. Max says, good timing on the swim shorts. Yeah. Uh, spring break will be here before you know it. Warm weather. <clears throat> good morning, Diane. How are you doing this morning? There you go, Craig. Yeah, head on over and watch some Craig videos. He's trying to get his watch time up. He's hit his thousand subscribers, and congratulations on that, Craig. Deserve it. So, uh, yeah, he's he's trying to get his watch time up, though. Yeah, just there you go. Just that's what I'll do for you, Craig. I'm gonna put your on this computer when I'm done. I'll put your videos on and just let them play. I mean, I'm I'll be doing other stuff, but I'm gonna put your whole catalog on and just let them play. Get your watch time. That's awesome. That's good to know, Max. Really, because I, you know, I've I've sold a few pieces of Garmin stuff, but not a ton. So that's good to know that they fly out the door. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul, truly, because <laughs> it is a, it is pretty much an addiction once you get, because I probably have, oh, if I had to guess, I probably have 200 mugs in, uh, in here, <laughs> but I sell them, I sell, you know, they're good money and they're cheap, you know, easy to list usually. So, uh, yeah, so let's go into the, uh, other stuff. Good morning, pick and roll. First bag is all the same thing. This is Gabe's. I picked up the uh, this big wad of shirts here. That's from my wife. This is the only thing I found at Gabe's. The rest of the finds were my wife's finds. Um, there's, let me see how many of these are. One, two, three four of these i think they're all the same size get over here so i can see myself um these are coors light thermal shirts and we paid three dollars a piece for these there's the tags and these are all extra larges i believe no this one's a medium so uh, yeah but these sell for uh 25 dollars or so so and there's four of these so yeah repeatability is awesome this one was a medium what's this one this one's an extra large this one is a extra extra large so we got three different sizes so far <laughs> and this one's an extra large so two extra large a double x and a medium so three bucks a piece for four of them so yeah that was really good let me see if i can cause an avalanche over here <laughs> Okay, so what's up next? Let me see here. No, oh, absolutely can't. They, uh, I, uh, I saw you retracted it. You didn't have to, but uh, yeah, I let almost all my 
uh, not almost all my new tag stuff gets listed on eBay and cross posted to posh all of it. <laughs> and I have made a couple of Poshmark sales. So, uh, but uh, yeah, Monty says he bought uh she bought the 20 mugs last week. Awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Okay. Last week, last week I had one of these, and we, my wife, found two more of them. This uh, Under Armour Gore-Tex jacket. This one's a small, of course. That's why they ended up there, but. Uh, the one we got last week, we paid thirty dollars for, and these were thirty-five dollars a piece. But still, the uh, I think I listed these for two twenty-five. The other one, and I've got that small one right there, and we got this one. This one's a medium. And these are women's. But again, Gore-Tex Storm Three. $35. Look at the retail price on these. Not that I expect a retail price, of course, but look at that. $399.99. Yep. Like I said, I listed them at $225 a piece. And of course, I'd take an offer. <laughs> but these are these. Uh, the, I've got the one listed, and these will be listed soon. And uh, cross posted to Posh, of course. All right. Last bag. Last bag. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Let me see here. Yeah, absolutely, Paul. Yeah, Gates, uh, a Gate City Picker, Paul said, uh, I find that mugs with dates stamped on them do well too. Not all, but most. Yeah, absolutely. Monty has found several Disney mugs. Yep. Good stuff. Yeah, it is, Max. It's really, really good stuff. I mean, Gabe's is normally kind of lower end stuff, but you find this stuff there. And like I said, the other part of this Gabe's haul, there's a, there's an item I bought 28 of, of the same item. And I'm going to do a different video on those, you know, uh, probably hopefully in the next week or two, but, uh, yeah. Alec Craig says his last bag, anything. Oh yeah, it is pretty much. It's the last call for the haul video. <laughs> last bag. Okay. This is awesome stuff too. There's two of these. Again, Under Armour. These are even higher end than those, which is saying something. You know, these are Under Armour. Reco Rico with the Gore-Tex. And there's the, these are like a winter storm outer shell. Check out the MSRP on these. Five ninety nine ninety nine is the, and we got these four. We paid $50 each for these. And there's two of them. This is a women's, this is a small, of course, which is not ideal, but, uh, that's why these are there because they're small. <laughs> and this one, again, same exact thing. And this one is a medium. So we got a small and a medium, just like the other one. So, yep. Brand new with the tags. That's like the high, high end uh, Under Armour line. So that's it. Bam. What do you think? <laughs> those will get listed today that's what i'm going to do the today so let me see here yeah you like that max <laughs> it does kind of look like virginia tech colors doesn't it craig yep i put this uh and this isn't bragging this is you know this is the hard work doing the stuff finding the stuff but uh at gabe's 
with the other stuff. I have one of them right here, but I'm going to show you. But uh, like I said, we paid thirty dollars a piece for these other twenty-eight items that I'm going to show later, and we got all this stuff. We ended up spending like eleven hundred bucks at Gabe's, but that should bring in uh, about four grand. Hopefully sooner rather than later. <laughs> Do it, Paul. If there's a if there's a Gabe's close to you, Paul, go for it. Absolutely. Gabe's. Yep. G A B E S. Yeah. I think they're pretty much exclusively here on the East Coast. Um I think they only have like thirty or forty locations, maybe. But I could be wrong. I'm the last week, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before last was the first time I've ever been to Gabe's. Tommy Bernard and I talked about Gabe's and we said it was kind of like uh kind of like Marshall and Ross's had an ugly baby and that's what Gabe's is. <laughs> so yeah. Hey Swamp, how you doing this morning? Yeah. So that's the that's the haul. If uh he, obviously you guys have any questions, shoot. I'll answer it. We're gonna move the, we'll stay on for about oh Max. Awesome, bud. We appreciate that. I'm going to have a, I may have some, may, may have a McLunch with that or something, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Uh, probably go about another seven minutes or so. So, yeah. Hey, John, John, Nevermore Antiques. We were talking about you earlier. Glad you popped in and no, I have not chased any of the uh, penny dollar Dollars? Are they still doing that at the dollar store? Those penny items? I've seen. I saw Steve and Scott talk about those. But uh, there you go, Paul. Go check that out, bud. And these were in the women's section, Paul. These all these these high end coats. So I know it looks a little weird, but go in the women's section. <laughs> Hit the men's section too. That's where I found the Coors Light shirts. Was in the men's section. Yeah. There you go, Kent. Looked it up at twenty five total stores. There you go. I was pretty close. <laughs> Uh, burp, 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 burp. Jennifer asked, how long do you hold an item before you put it on sale? I'm different than most people. Most people have to, you know, there's different philosophies and most of the people in here have heard me talk about this ad nauseum, but I told you to ask anything and you should, but, uh, some people have to be a, uh, quick nickel, which means you have to turn over your capital because you need your money back. Uh, I'm a slow dime. Uh, I prefer to wait. I mean, I'll wait up to a year for something to sell. Like we're at pretty much the wrong time of year for these under armor storm coats, but I'm still going to list them and I'll wait through next Christmas. You know, uh, doesn't matter to me. So it all depends on your philosophy. If, uh, if you need your money back, I can see listing it for a month. And if it doesn't sell in a month, start either lowering your price, putting it on sale, but it's gotta be, you gotta figure out what's best for you, you know? And that's why there's no, you know, one size fits all, but, uh, yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> John says, yay, today is Mr. Clean. Are you, are you cleaning stuff or the house? <laughs> it seems like I clean stuff more than I clean the house, although I do both, you know. Good morning, NASCAR man. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for popping in. Where's she here? Yeah, absolutely, Kent. Perfect time to buy jackets. I will, if there was... 50 of these i would have bought them you know because i know there's money to be made there jennifer asked how many active items do you have between everything between my three ebay accounts my amazon account my etsy account and poshmark about two thousand or so and i'm looking to get that up to about three thousand by the summer so yeah and that's that I think that about top me out between shipping and listing and storage. I'll be completely maxed out when I hit that number. If I don't, you know, like get a storage unit or a building or something, but I don't want to do that. So I'll be topped out. Uh, Mo says, I wait. Also, you can send me an offer, but not dropping a price every week. Yeah. So yeah, that's what Mo does. Rocky broke there. Yeah. So anyway, we talked about, you know, I have my haul, of course, you know, still going to the thrift stores, you know, just being super picky. Uh, but I'm going to be hitting that Gabe's every, every week now, you know, so, uh, 
not a complete shift in philosophy, but man, if I can keep on finding that quality of items, I'm going to do it, you know, but, um, yeah, I'm going to work on that, uh, that auction idea, you know, I, like I said, I don't want to copycat anyone, but I just, I just, I just love it. I love doing it. I love uh, seeing it and I love what Dwayne does. And John, if you're still in here, I'm going to check out your thing. Somebody said you had something like that going on. I'm going to check out what you're doing. But, uh, and I mean, this is still very infancy stages. I want to roll it out quickly. I want to roll it out properly. You know, where I know what I'm doing, whether I'm selling my own stuff or bringing people on like Dwayne does or uh, whatever. But uh, I want to do it properly and not just half-ass it, you know. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Max. Hey, Max, let me give you a wrench, bud. I don't even know why you don't have one. Max has been bestowed with the wrench. <laughs> But I'm going to do that. And also as a part of the auction stuff, I'm going to, as a, and nobody has to do anything. Let me get that out of the way first. But the Patreon, please check it out a uh, dollar a month. And as a part of that, when I get, once I get to 25 patrons, a dollar a month, that's all you have to do. Once I get to 25 patrons, I'm going to start doing giveaways. And here's an example. My first, once I hit 25, at least dollar level patrons, I'm going to give away the uh, Thor Ragnarok Blu-ray DVD and digital copy brand new. Let me see here. Yeah. And that'll just be, if it, it, it'll be one entry per dollar. So if you're a $5 patron, you get five entries. If you're a dollar patron, you get one entry and it'll be randomized. I'll, I'll actually do a video of me doing the, the drawing on a website. So giving that away as a, once we hit 25 patrons, dollar patrons, once we hit 50 patrons, I'm going to do two items. You see what Mike, I'm getting there. Excuse me, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm on my fast. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, Mary says, how do you do on Etsy? I've thought about it, but remember, I'm not creative. Um, Etsy it cannot be a reliable source of sales. It's um, literally once I'm, you know, one sale a month thing. But I only have like 40 or 50 items on there. I'm trying to beef it up slowly. I cross post some stuff from eBay there. And uh it's just one of those things that's a kind of a bonus to me. You know, if I get a sell on, I'm like, Oh, cool bonus. You know, <laughs> Oh gosh. And, and I treat Poshmark kind of the same way right now. I'm up to almost 200 listings on Poshmark. And if I get a sell on there, it's just a bonus because everything on there is already cross posted on eBay. So, um, yeah, the stuff I have on Amazon merchant fulfilled Amazon is not cross posted. It is just on Amazon. Um, I just am doing Merchant Fulfilled right now. Uh, it'd be great if I could do a FBA, but I'm just not there yet. But uh, I probably make about five or six sales a month on Amazon Merchant Fulfilled. And I only have about 50 items listed on Amazon. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the Patreon link is in the description. So, like I said, once I hit 25 $1 subscribers, I'll be giving this away. And, uh, yeah, if you do $5, you get five entries. Yeah. And ten dollars, you get ten entries, so on and so forth. You guys are smart, you know that. But that's just the first giveaway. I'll be giving away different stuff. I'm thinking about even doing a uh, small, like a medium flat rate box full of small stuff you could sell. You know, like I'm not necessarily this item, but you know, like a paperweight or some of these these games. You know, just throwing them all in the box and giving that away. Uh, once I hit, you know, like I said, uh, just the one item so far. But yeah. Uh, Kelly says Amazon is my biggest platform, but I do FBA. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, man, I admire people that can do that and get to that level. Like Scott, I admire the hell out of that guy. He was in actually, Scott was in New Jersey, <laughs> long way away from Alabama sourcing stuff the other day. And he was going to stop in and we were going to, you know, have lunch or dinner or something, but the traffic in DC is horrible. He had to go around DC, which I totally get because traffic here is just murderous. So, uh, yeah, there is, there's reseller, man, reseller, man, go back and watch the replay. Cause we're about to wrap this up. <laughs> Sorry about that, man, but welcome. Glad you're in here. Uh, oh, you're welcome, Mary. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, uh, 
auction stuff the patreon link is in there hit that up if you will appreciate it hit the thumbs up on your way out appreciate every single one of you and uh, i'll be trying to do more of these live videos because this was fun you know i enjoy you guys enjoy what you bring to the table so uh yeah we'll see you guys soon i don't know when but i will be doing a what sold video tomorrow releases early for patrons <laughs> check that out thanks guys we'll see you later